Hey, um, it is Tuesday, July 31st. Happy birthday, Harry Potter! It's Harry's birthday today, and J.K. Rowling's birthday, so that's really exciting. Yeah. Um, I apologize ahead of time if I sound really unenthusiastic or depressing in this video. I'm not depressed. I'm happy. But I'm still recovering from getting my wisdom teeth out, so I can't really open my mouth all the way. So I can't really show emotion. And, um, that didn't work. Stay there. Um, and I haven't really been able to eat anything for the past five days, so I'm really weak. Weak. I'm so weak and tired. I'm so tired. Um, yeah. Uh, Anna, it's great news that your arm isn't broken. I'm really happy. I'm trying to smile, but it hurts, and I just look Asian. <laughs> um, yeah. Molly, you're in Arkansas, maybe? Um, thank you for calling me before my procedure. I'm sorry it sounded so, like, weird on the phone, but that's just because I was really nervous and freaking out, so. Yeah. And Joe, I love you. I love Joe. Um... Yeah. So, I'm not sure, but this might be the last video you see of me before I go to college again. Um, I go back in 16, 15 days, 15 days I go back. That's not a lot of days. Um, I'm really kind of freaking out because I don't have anything packed yet. But that's okay, right? Right. Um, also, on Saturday, I go to Arizona for a week. So, I have tomorrow, Thursday... Friday. Then when I get back, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. I have seven days to pack my stuff to go to school. Um, but that's okay. Um, I'm, I was more excited about going back, like, a week ago, but now I'm just like, you know, I like my house, and I like being around my family and my dogs, so gonna be weird going back, but I think it'll be good for me to have homework and be on a routine again and hang out with people. Sorry, I keep, like, pausing, but it's hard for me to swallow, so I need to, like, and I haven't talked this much since Thursday, so, yeah. Um, so I'm I'm partially excited to go back. I'm excited to be in the room with my new roommate because she's really awesome and I think we'll have fun together. Not that I don't love my old roommate because I do, um, but yeah, I'm just excited and I'm excited to decorate, decorate my half, you know. Um, it'll be weird because I'm moving in five days earlier than everyone else, including my roommate. Uh, usually, I mean, last semester, my roommate didn't go home at all. She went home, like, once for a couple of days, so I'm not used to being in the room by myself. But also, like, none of her stuff is even going to be in there. So, it's just going to be like, all this stuff on one half of the room, and then the other half is, like, completely empty, so. 
that'll be weird. Um, I might take over half of her room on the, or her half of the room on the first day just to move all my stuff. Um, but definitely once I get there, I will give you the grand tour. Um, uh, it definitely won't be as awkward this year as it was last year because she's not going to be there. Um, so, yeah. Um, but also, my new roommate, she works a lot, so I'll probably make my videos when she's at work. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited to go back. Um, I don't remember if I've talked about this already, but, um, my classes I'm taking this semester are German, Joe, I'm gonna need so much help. So much German help. Bitte, my Liebe, my Liebe Joe. Um, yeah, I should really review some German before I go back, because I've gotten really rusty. Like, toward the end of the semester, I wasn't doing very good, so... I mean, I still got, I think, a A- in the class, but... Yeah. Um, so German, and then I'm taking a European Revolutions history class, a art history class, and a American history class. And so hopefully I will figure out if I definitely want to major in history because <laughs> that's all the classes I'm taking this semester. Um, but I'm excited for that though. Um, I just find history to be so interesting because it's all stories pretty much. Yeah. Um, because I've been in bed for the past few days, I've been watching a lot of the Olympics. I don't know if you guys are too, but it's been pretty good so far. I root for Germany whenever they're on there, Jill. Um, but, I mean, it's been okay. I'm not a big sports person. Like, I like, um, football. I watch a lot of football. But I just think it's so interesting to have all of the countries there together. Like, if I was to meet an alien from outer space and I had to tell them about Earth, the Olympics would definitely be something I would talk about. Um, although I really don't like the coverage that has been shown here in the U.S. Um, NBC is pretty much the only network that's doing coverage, which is fine, except for they have this one lady, because everything is shown after the fact because of the time difference. Um, but there's this one lady who always does the, like, the post-event interviews. So, say, like, Michael Phelps finishes his swim race, and then, like, right afterwards, she approaches him with a microphone. She just has no class. She is rude and insensitive, and I just want to slap her in the face every time I see her. I'm like, oh my god, shut up, shut up, shut up. Because she's just like, here's my accurate impression of her. So, Michael Phelps, how does it feel to be a loser? Is there anything you would have changed so that you wouldn't have lost? What did you expect the outcome of this race to be? And how does it feel to know that the guy that races on your own team beat you? Uh-huh. Thanks. And it's just like, first of all, they just finished it, so they don't have any time to process what's happened. Not, and you can tell that they just finished because they're still like, ah, 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 you know? And then she just like ambushes them, and it's this old lady. And I'm like, what do you know about sports? Like, what qualifies you for this position? How is there nobody else better than you at this that we had to go with you? I just, ugh, I just hate her. I really don't like her. I don't know her name, but I just don't like her at all. Uh, I thought the opening ceremonies were really, really awesome. I don't know if you guys got to watch them. I don't think you did because you were at camp still, maybe? I think. I don't remember. Um, 
but I thought they were really cool. If you get a chance to watch them online or a rerun of them, definitely do. Um, part of it was me being the history buff because it was kind of history based. Um, but I just thought all the volunteers were so cool. And they volunteered three months of their time for free to be a part of this. And there was like one little part where, because it was divided into different sections, and there was one talking about like the transition into the digital age, and it um, had different music from different eras. And when they like changed from one time period to another, they did the TARDIS sound effect from Doctor Who. And it was really subtle, and at first I thought I imagined it, but then, like, I saw other people on Facebook talking about it, and I was like, oh, awesome! Um, so that was really cool, except for I still wanted David Tennant to be the torchbearer, but it's okay. Um, I also, I'm too lazy to get up and grab them, but I bought, um, socks that have the Union Jack on it. It's the British flag. Um, they're pretty cool. <sighs> this video has taken a lot of energy out of me. Um, which I shouldn't have, but I haven't really... I had, like, a pudding cup today. So, yeah, I've lost five pounds <laughs> since getting my wisdom teeth out. And that's not good. And I know that, but... I just really can't eat anything, and the day after, I was just really nauseous, and, it's, sorry, this is going to be TMI, so plug ears if you want, but, um, like, I swallowed so much blood that, like, the next day, I was just so nauseous, um, yeah, so, yep, I've been eating nothing but applesauce and mashed potatoes from Culver's. I can't wait to eat real food. I've had a craving for a Domino's cheese pizza for the past five days. And I don't even like pizza that much. Like, I like it. I don't really think there's any food that I dislike. And I know that's kind of a bold statement to make, but I just really like food. And I'm not picky when it comes to food. Like, I don't like eggs. But I will eat them if it's the only thing there is to eat. I will still eat. Um, and I don't really like fish. But those are two things I will have to get over when I go to Europe. Yeah. Speaking of which, I have to... <laughs> I have to buy my airline ticket soon, but... There's just been so much stuff going on around here. Uh, my grandpa's still in care, and they've been switching his pain meds, so he's been hallucinating, which is sad. Um, and my brother's been working, and my dad's been traveling, my mom's been really stressed out with work. Um, the neighbor kids broke into my brother's car the other day, and they've been leaving his stuff, like, in our mailbox. It's really weird. Um, yeah... If my neighbor's kids are watching this video, just bring all this stuff back. You're being so weird. Um, his, like, cologne was in the newspaper box, and then, like, today his sunglasses were on top of the mailbox. It's just weird. I don't understand. I have kind of a headache. Anna, your letter that you sent back to me totally made my day. Like, it's the best. It's hanging. <laughs> I'll try to show you. It's hanging on my bulletin board right now. And it's, like, the only thing on my bulletin board. I don't know if you can see it. There it is. It's right there. There. Yeah. Um, so I love it. Thank you so much. Um, I think my address is the same at school this year as it was last year, but it might change, so I will let you guys know. Uh, I'm definitely going to send more letters this year. Um, yeah. Ugh.
really lightheaded, which is not good. I won't faint on video. I know I've fallen asleep before, but I won't faint, so you're okay. Um, but I'm off chance I do. Call 911, please. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, my hair looks actually kind of okay today, which is weird because it's looked so bad for the past few days. Um, but I just had to take a shower. I couldn't take it anymore. Um, stuff that I have watched while being on bed rest, I guess you could call it. Um, I watched the movie This Means War because it has Christopher Pine in it and I love him more than more than Jim, more than anything. I just love him. Uh, he's also Captain Kirk in the new startup of Star Trek, which you might have seen. Uh, he's also in Princess Diaries too. Um, yeah. But I really hated This Means War, the movie I watched. I hated it. It was really bad. And my husband, he kind of plays asshole parts, but he was a big asshole in this movie, and I just didn't like it. It wasn't funny. Um, I also watched... I have the movie case right here. I know this video is going to be long, but watch it whenever you get the chance. Um, I got this from Barnes & Noble the other day. It's um, What a Girl Wants with Amanda Bynes and Chasing Liberty with Matthew Good and Mandy Moore. Um, I had seen both movies before. I don't think I had seen all of Chasing Liberty before, but they're just kind of dumb, early 2000, chick flicky, but I liked it. Um, Matthew Good is also in... Um, Leap Year, that movie with Amy Adams, and he's just gorgeous. I love him. Um, I love lots of men. <laughs> um, I've also been playing World of Warcraft because I'm cool like that. And I'm almost the highest level, which is pretty cool. I've been playing the same character for four and a half years, almost five years. And so that's sort of pathetic because some people get to be like the highest level in less than 24 hours. So, yeah, but it's fun. I've also been playing this game, which I told Joe I was playing. It's Sims Medieval. It's really fun. Um, as you guys know, I play Sims 3 a lot. Um, but Sims Medieval is kind of more quest based, and you get to like make your own monarch and the monarch has like affairs with the troubadours and stuff which is really kind of interesting for me because I really like that time period in history but it's also pretty funny um and I've named most of the characters after characters from Firefly because I didn't know what else to do so yeah um so I hope everything is good with you um, Molly, I hope you continue to have fun in your road trip. You should tell me when you're going back to school. Um, Joe, I'm not really sure how holiday works over by you, but I'm pretty sure you still have a lot of time left to your holiday, and you've been working at the supermarket, which sounds really boring, so I hope you've been writing lots of rock songs to keep yourself busy. And Anna, I'm sure you don't go back to school till probably beginning of September. Um, so I hope things are good with you. And I think your brother is getting married soon, maybe. Um, so I hope that goes well. Whenever that is. <laughs> um, I'm not being a creeper. I just check in on you on Facebook sometimes. Um, uh, yeah. But the next video you see from me, I will be in my new dorm. And yeah, I love you guys so much. Um, even though we can't go to LeakyCon, I'm sure a Very Potter 3D will be awesome and we will talk about it. Um, but yeah, I love you so much. Thank you for being my best friends in the whole world. Other way. <laughs> Wait. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. <laughs>
Listen, bye. I love you. Bye.